You are to see me for your assignments, and no one else. I speak for His Grace on such matters. My word is His. As such, any task deserves your full and immediate attention. Pray, make your choice, sir. You've a stake in this, and a right to hear, sir. You know of Forneville, I? He is among the wealthiest of Grand Soren's merchants, though now he stands to lose all. He is accused of a litany of crimes. I would beg a favor, if you've the time. It seems Forneval was as busy in his underground dealings as in his honest work. His bill of crimes includes bribery, fraud, abduction, the selling of secrets, even collusion with salvation. The inquest continues as we speak. Should the present tide prevail, he will likely be found guilty and put to death. Opinions are split, however, on the credibility of the present proofs and testimonies. A few days yet remain before the matter is decided. I ask that you go and gather what facts you can. Any proof is welcome, be it evidence or testimony, aught that clearly shows his guilt or innocence. Justice must be done, and for that, we've need of the truth. I hear old Thornival is the subject of an inquest. His conviction would bring me no joy, not least for the loss of revenue I would suffer. Arisen, I have a proposition, sir. I've long had dealings with Thornival and want to believe in his innocence. Pray, take a petition for his acquittal from me, that it may help sway his arbiters. Tell me, sir, what is to become of my father? You're the Arisen, are you not? Can you not do what to help him? I could not bear to lose him. Even if the things they say were true, I still... He was ever a kind father to me. A petition? Of course, I would gladly draft one. I would draft a hundred if it be a help. Fools just barged in, eh? Hold me prisoner like some common criminal. It is madness and base insult. You there, you're an able sort. There's time yet before my trial is decided. Pray, arrange for my acquittal however you may. If you see me through this storm, I'll sell to you at cost for the rest of my days. Tis a generous offer, eh? Now go. And pray put an end to this farce. I am eager to be quit of this confinement. Please, sir. Forneval stands trial? Tis a pity. In truth, the man was profligate. His ostentation earned him envy and enmity in equal parts. But he was not the sort of man to seek profit in the misfortunes of others. I will add my name to the petition. I shall pray that his innocence is proven. messenger brought word of Forneval's trial. More's the pity. He furnished our arms at quite the favorable rate. We'll be as cats without claws, should he be kept from doing business. I do not know the man well, but I cannot stand idly by and see him convicted. Testimony given in person will carry more weight than a missive, yet I cannot leave this place. Pray, take one of my men with you back to the capital. He will speak in my place. 
You do Fornival a service, sir. And us with him. I will send word ahead for a man to await you. Pray speak to him directly. I'm called Castor. Sir Dario has informed me of my duties. I'm thankful to have you accompanying me to the capital. Shall we be off? Very well, sir. Brought a witness, have you? Excellent work. I shall see to the necessary accommodations until the day of the trial. There's time yet, sir. Pray, continue in your efforts. You've brought evidence. Here, I shall see it submitted to the court. There's time yet, sir. Pray, continue in your efforts. Good. You've brought evidence. Here, I shall see it submitted to the court. There's time yet, sir. Pray, continue in your efforts. Good. You've brought evidence. Here. I shall see it submitted to the court. There's time yet, sir. Pray, continue in your efforts. Good. You've brought evidence. Here. I shall see it submitted to the court. There's time yet, sir. Pray, continue in your efforts. Order. <clears throat> this inquest has its conclusion. Fornival Frescobaldi, in the name of his grace, Duke Edmund Dragonsbane, the court hereby proclaims its verdict. Not guilty. You are cleared of all charges and released from bondage forthwith. The inquest is hereby ended. Word of Fordival's verdict has come. He was judged innocent somehow. It was an acquittal hued in shades of grey, scarce different from black. But an acquittal nonetheless. The trial was fair, and so we must accept its decision. Though the matter ended sourly, it's by no fault of yours. Take your wages with my thanks, Arisen. <laughs> 